When I took electronics in college, the professor would tell us to set up the electronics equations that apply to the problem and then stop. Don't reduce the equations to a single answer at the end. Because if we made a mistake on the algebra, he'd have to take points off. But if we set up the electronics equations correctly, whether it was a single equation or a system of two or three equations, if we set those equations up correctly, he could give us full points. We were a little hesitant to believe him on this because that's not what we had been trained that college was supposed to be like. College was supposed to be hard, a lot of work, a lot of effort, and you, you worked it through until you got to the final answer to the question. Every time he handed back our homework, he would tell us, you're working too hard, you're doing too much work, you don't have to do all of this. And if we made a mistake in the algebra, he would point out, you should have stopped here. On the first exam, none of us took him up on this. We all solved every equation to the very end. And we all took the full length of the class to complete the test. Some even went a little bit over. On the second exam, I finally took him up on it. 23 minutes into the test, I turned in a couple pages of what I thought were half completed equations. And the professor said, yes, he gets it. I just kind of looked at the rest of the class. They looked at me. None of us were really sure what was going to happen. We all wanted to believe, but we'd see. Well, when he passed back the exam, I hadn't lost any points just because I hadn't reduced the equations down to a single answer. So after that, we believed him. The homework got a lot easier. The tests went a lot faster. Now I look back on that class and I think of all the time that we wasted making the problem too hard, doing more work than we needed to do. And it was all because we didn't understand what he was trying to say done could look like. And so let me ask you, what are you making too hard for yourself? Just because you don't understand what done could look like. Thanks for watching. I'm Colter Reed. I'm here to help you get the day-to-day -day out of the way so you can stop chasing the dream and start living the dream. If you want to know more, subscribe to the channel. If you thought this video was interesting, click like. That'll help other people discover it. And then why don't you check out this video? YouTube thinks you'll like it. Or go outside and play with the frisbee.